Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan, our cameraman here is Henry and today we're going to show you the Grey Wolf 19SM which uh, features your two queen beds in it. So very nice floor plan. Um, one thing I want to point out, you will have power all the way around so you'll have a power awning, power stabilizer jacks and a power tongue jack. So very easy to set up and take down. We're going to get started up front today with your power tongue jet. You have your extend retract switch along with a LED light switch that um, shines for you if you're hooking up in the dark. You do have the adjustable foot pad at the bottom and behind that you do have your dual 20 pound LP tank with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into your valves on your LP tanks. You also notice the two bars here in the back. That is where we would mount your battery and box. And if you do any dry camping, you can mount up to two 12-volt uh, batteries in that cavity. This does have your nice radius front end, along with your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. Let's move around to the passenger side. <clears throat> like I mentioned, on your dry camping, if you do have a portable solar panel, you can plug into this port to maintain your batteries on the front. Front storage compartment, very large. Uh, underneath your bed, you can access this from the inside or from the outside. So you have a lot of storage in your front compartment area here. Underneath is, I do have your stabilizer jacks down so you can see what that looks like. And how that operates is if one leg gets down before the other, um, it applies a small amount of pressure on the ground until the other jack applies the same amount of pressure and then they go together at that point. You'll also see a quick connect LP uh, connection right here so if you do have an outdoor grill and would like to connect into your LP bottles on the front you can do that through that port. Okay, uh, your power awning uh, does come with your blue LED light already mounted for you does have an adjustment right here on each end so you can adjust the pitch of your awning. Uh, so if it's raining you can either um, have the rain run off the front or the back or whichever works best for you. At your entry door is your stable step. You do have a solid step that sits on the ground not suspended in the air. You have an adjustment on each side uh, where you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground. And very easy to set up and take down. Um, you just open your friction hinge door, which is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. We do not have the latches like we've had in the past that get brittle with time, or you forget to unlatch and tear them out. But basically, you open your entry door and you fold your step up. There's a latch on the left hand side. You close your door, close your grab handle, and you're ready to go. So, very easy to set up and take down. Outside entertainment you do have blue LED. Uh, speakers on the outside that you can turn off and on with a switch on the out, uh, on the inside. Your TV mounting bracket here in the center is compatible to the one on the inside. So if you like to take the TV from the inside, slide it in out here, you could do that. And then you have your connections over here on the left. You do have your uh, what they call the mag rims along with your radial tires. Uh, you also, I removed the center cap so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes and also you do have your tire pressure monitor caps on here you'll notice the number 65 on there showing the tire pressure that needs to be in the tires and also if I loosen this and your tire pressure gets low that will turn to red so you do have a visual when your tire pressure does get low so you can see you need to add air Okay, we're going to move on around to the back. This does have your slide out, slide room in the back that comes out. This would be where one of your sleeping areas are. Then you'll have another uh, mattress in the front. You do have your 4 by 4 inch two bumper. You have end cap on each end. That's for your sewer hose storage. You do have a travel rack that is included with your spare tire mounted on there. You can remove a clip on each side, fold it down, reinsert the clips, and then you can um, store your totes uh, on that rack for your travel. Okay, we're going to walk around the back to give you a visual of what it looks like with the slide room out. And move on over to the driver's side. Um, over here is your hookup center and your dump station. You have your 30 amp connection here 
Uh, this does come with a detachable cord, so it's a separate cord, not one that you're trying to pull out or shove back in, uh, taken away from storage on the inside. And then you have your hookup center here. They do mount a porch light right here by your hookup and dump center, so if you happen to hook up after dark, you have light there for you. You have your outside shower with your hot and cold, your black tank flush, which is uh, designed to clean out your black tank after you dump. There's a sprayer on the black, the back side of your tank. So if you connect a water hose to this, that will rinse that tank out for you. You also have your cable hookup as well. And underneath the shower here, we have your city fill and your fresh water connection. Your uh, fresh water connection is where you fill your fresh water holding tank through this port and turn on your water pump switch on the inside. If you're dry camping, your city water connection is where you connect your water hose at a campsite. Your dump station, you'll notice you'll have a gray handle and a black handle. Your black handle is for your black tank, which is your toilet. Your gray handle would be for your shower and kitchen sink, and that all dumps out of this one port. And then lastly, on the outside, you have your six gallon gas electric DSI water heater, DSI standing for direct spark ignition. And you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you come down and look, there's, you'll notice an on and off switch on the lower left hand corner. That is the electric side of the water heater. Then I'll show you the gas switch on the inside. And always remember to have water in the water heater before you turn on the electric side so you don't burn up your heating element. I believe that concludes the outside of the Grey Wolf 19 SM. And now we'll move to the inside. We have your queen mattress in the front, along with a wardrobe and a bunk above that. Your bathroom on the driver's side. And then you have a refrigerator, pantry, sofa, dinette, another bed in the back. And then your kitchen immediately to the left. We'll start right inside the door on the end of the overhead cabinet. This is where your interior exterior light switches are. Your monitor panel, this is where um, I talked about dry camping. You fill your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump switch. That would be on the right hand side. And then as you open the faucet, it will maintain um, your pressure at your water source that you're getting from. Your gas switch for the water heater would be on the left. And this is where you check your uh, gray, black, fresh, and battery levels as well. Uh, your slide out switch. For the back slide out would be in the top left hand corner. And then your overhead cabinets does come with a ceiling tray with lights. It's one thing uh, Grey Wolf does a good job at having lots of lighting in the kitchen area especially. Uh, they even add additional lighting underneath your range hood. So it is very well lit. Job well done by Grey Wolf for that. In your overhead cabinets you'll have glass inserted cabinet doors have a microwave and on the opposing end is where your entertainment center is so there would be your uh, TV mounting bracket along with your connections in the ceiling. In your base cabinet you do have your glass drop-in cooktop along with your oven and you'll notice on the right hand side there is a light switch for your uh, blue LED lights around each burner knob and the purpose of the glass drop-in cooktop is giving you more countertop space when you're not using your stove. This is also um, a bifold cover that folds back and also serves as a splash guard. And that is a three burner stove top. Again, the same purpose of the kitchen sink cover. Uh, it is a flush mounted cover giving you more countertop space when you're not using your sink. And that is a large farmhouse style kitchen uh, stainless steel single bowl sink and then you have your high-rise kitchen faucet okay we're gonna move on back to the dinette if you look at the pictures on our dinette the dinette does collapse down into a sleeping arrangement as well as your sofa and um, the table is on pedestal so you can remove that slide the cushions together the sofa is what they call a jackknife sofa so that does lay um, down as well to sleeping and you do have storage underneath there. In the back is your slide out area with your second mattress. These are both 
um, what they call an RV queen. So it is a couple inches shorter than your standard queen. And then we're going to swing on over to the pantry and the refrigerator area. So you do have a pantry that goes from floor to ceiling. Your refrigerator is has your um, separate freezer compartment. And this would be 110 and gas. And it is automatic. So if you do have a power failure and you have your LP bottles turned on, it will automatically kick over to your... Uh, LP source and continue running. You also see there is a skylight in the kitchen area. It does have a uh, shade so if you'd like to close that up because you don't want any sunlight coming in you can do that and then your bathroom um, <clears throat> is right here to the left. This is your thermostat which would run your furnace. Inside the bathroom you have your toilet which gives you leg room and then you have your vanity along with a medicine cabinet your create a breeze fan skylight over your uh, tub shower combo surround here and this does have your larger pan it's not your cramped tubs that they used to have in the past so you do have a lot more of uh, room in this shower pan Your second uh, queen bed here in the front does have storage at the foot of the bed. So you do have some storage cavities there as well as a wardrobe. And they do have USB ports throughout. You'll see a receptacle USB port at the top by your bunk. And then also one down here by your main bed. And I believe that concludes. Oh, you also have the privacy curtain here. And I failed to mention for the front. So I believe that concludes the inside of the 19SM by Grey Wolf. Do one more brief walkthrough for you. And we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.